we're developers. We like fast cars and fast Flutter. Welcome to the Flutter Performance Series, episode 001, Mind Your Build. If you did not know, widgets are immutable UI blueprints for render objects. They're meant to be recreated a lot. For Flutter to remain fast, your widgets need to be created fast. Let's explore an example. Keep in mind, it's just an example to illustrate a point. Here we have a stateless widget. This widget takes in a string property called letter. We use this property to filter a long list of names that start with that letter. We have a function called names that start with, and we filter the list super long list of names. We call this function in the build method, and then we use the result to display the names that start with that letter. There's two problems here. One, if we assume that this list is really, really long, then we should probably do this operation in a separate isolate instead. But we'll talk about isolates in a future video. Second, and the main issue that we will be focusing on now, is that we're calling names that start with from the widgets build method. This means that this operation will be performed every time the build method is called, meaning any time a parent is updated, or new states is passed in, or the user navigates the app. The build method is supposed to be called a lot, and that is part of how Flutter is designed. Also, keep in mind that you don't always have control over when a build is triggered. Keep your build method pure and free of side effects. In this example, we can fix the issue by making this a stateful widget and moving the execution to the init state. And there we go. Point is, keep your builds clean and don't do expensive work directly in the build, and extract that logic to whatever form of state management you use. This logic would look different depending on how you manage your state and trigger rebuilds in your app. For this particular example, when using set state, take note that if the letter property we pass in were to change, for example from the letter G to H, then we'd need to filter the list again. And we can do that with did update widget. Just add a check to see if the old widget letter value and the new widget letter value are different. If yes, recompute and set the local filtered name state. Ask questions down below and let me know any ideas for future performance tips. Until then, code fast, die young.